Good morning. It is day one of the off-road games. It is cold. It is windy. Snow flurries in the forecast. I think it's going to be nice, though. I think it's rain in the forecast. We're about to get started. We're a few minutes away from, like, officially kicking off the opening ceremonies. Then we're going to get up on that trail. We're going to drive over some rocks. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, if you can, Freeze it. Oh. Let's see, the man who needs no introduction. Actually, Tom, will you introduce me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first on the list is James with Dona Media and Matt with Matt's Off Road. We're gonna be in the motor van dominating that mountain right there. That is our mountain. Next on the list is Caitlin, and we've got. I'm Mark Fox, uh, Bellingham, Washington, and I'm the one fan winner. Okay, Mark. Mark is a huge supporter of the channel. He's a top tier on the more app. He's just it's just been really great to have him win this. This is exciting. Okay, next up we got is is uh, Robbie and Weston. Weston Chaplin. Here. His plane door wouldn't stay shut, so he got in this morning at 6 a.m. and he's on his way. All right, we're right in the trail, like right now. Okay, hopefully he's here any minute. He's awake. We confirmed that he is awake. That's a start. All right, Eric, BSF Recovery. You yeah, guys, this is the goat right here. My teammate is Todd from Project Farm. Okay, next on our left is Sean from Bikes and Beards. Peck Brothers, sorry. Okay, Peck Brothers. We do have off road and chill also. And they are teamed up with Craig, the bearded mechanic. Come up here. All right. Light Bright and Alex from Mr. Build It. Look at this team right here. Last contestant today is going to be bent off road. Right on up. up. And Brent from Ghost Down Living. Yeah. All right. Woo! This is going to be awesome. Are we ready to go? Yeah, I think we're ready to hit the trail. Let's do this. We're at the staging lanes here. I'm going to call it the staging lanes. We're really just parked on the sand at Sand Hollow. But we got the heater on because it's cold out there. It's we got freezing. James here, he's ready to do this. You've been here before. Been here before. You've done some winning here before. Done some winning, done some winning. Uh, proved to myself that I was the best off-road driver at Donut. Oh, yeah. yeah, now uh, the only way to go is to prove that I'm the best off-road driver in America. What happened? The throttle stuck. Oh my goodness, that was scary. <laughs> the guy's got goals right there. <laughs> yeah. We got Jamie here, she's warming her feet up. <laughs> I'm warming my whole body up. It's so cold out there. All week long, the weather's like, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be nice, and then yesterday the forecast came in it's gonna snow the wind's gonna blow <laughs> it's one thing to have the wind blowing the wind is just cold and miserable but we're in the sand dunes which means that it's blowing sand into your eyes and your ears and everywhere and it's so better in here than it is out so there better. so i've been staking out our competition a little bit and i've decided that so far uh robbie and weston are probably our stiffest competition in that they're probably the most like us um, and so therefore, I'm I'm calling them our nemesis. Okay, so team, team nemesis? Team nemesis. If we mention nemesis, then you know yeah. that it's Robbie and Weston. Yeah, so we're the good guys, they're the bad guys. So I just realized something. This is another one of our nemesis right here. Nemesis. We've done some modifications to the Morvair. We've got lower gears in the transfer case. That really high wine there, that's the cooling fan. That's what keeps this cool when it's 120 degrees out there. Yeah, I'm born ready for this. All right, because we got some scary obstacles up here. One right. of them's called the steps. That's terrifying. <laughs> He wasn't even listening. No, yeah, he wasn't? 
like, I was so nervous. I was like, okay, so this does that, and oh, there's levers. It's like a spaceship. Oh, He's so messing it's with the AC yeah. and stuff while I'm trying to show them where the levers are. So it's easy. Everybody, well, anybody can do it. Anybody can do yeah. it. If anyone can do it, I can do it. Well, you're gonna do it. All right. <laughs> hey, my plane broke down. At least the Jeep, <laughs> let's hope the Jeep don't break down. Yeah, they told me that they uh, couldn't keep the door shut. I'm like, guys, well, let's ratchet strap this thing shut. I gotta go. Hey, so, how hard is this trail? You're gonna be nervous a couple places. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that party yeah. like that. Hey, that thing sounds good. I do not want this to be known as the Jeep that West Templin rolls, but if you do it, I'm not gonna be mad. That's fine. It's nice. Just saying. It's super nice. So Matt, the armor really so Matt and his team literally just built it. This is the first time I've ever driven it right. five I, minutes ago. I've got a deal for you though. If he wrecks it, you're getting an Airbnb and you're working on it for a month till we get it fixed. That's fine. Deal. Okay, any good advice for me before I mess this up? Um, so normally, when in doubt, throttle out. Yeah, that's my motto. Okay. No, it's mine too, but. Are you used to two pedaling? Yeah, none of my cars run very good. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's how you going. control your speed. You'll hold your throttle steady and just, and just control on, on a really technical obstacle. That's, that's why how you it. control it. Okay, that way it's up on stall all the time so that yep. it's always got. So you're not doing this, so you're not going bah, 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 and then back bah, bah, down. Bah, bah. Back okay. down. This is gonna lost my leg in one of these times. <laughs> I'm actually a little concerned about this. Oh, this is for you. Yeah. He's your bike guy. Yeah. That was very considerate of them. Very considerate. So this one, this rig, you can just accidentally drive it up. You don't have to put anything yeah. into it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just push it up Whatever. basically. <laughs> Here, I'll just meet you at the top. Just drive through those rocks. <laughs> Realistically, we're gonna try to make it more interesting. So what you see the other vehicles doing, odds are we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. That, right? see, I'm yeah. thinking a lot about that, about spotting and, and yeah. that kind of thing. Because sometimes I'll spot somebody and they're like, well, that was a bad line. I'm like, no, that was a hard line. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to see if it would do it. We're yeah. Yeah. Kevin does that all the time. I know what the easy line is. That's the, we we're driven, for easy. We've driven this trail, what, dozens of times? And we've done the easy line every time. Let's do the hard one. You have to spice it up. And I did now. that last time I was with you, Kevin. You guys talked to me into doing oh, yeah. that. It's a high risk line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We did it. Fun. And you we did, did it. it. Yeah. It was fantastic. Heck yeah. yeah. We're bad at And now you're going to do it. I'll be part of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> what do you think? I think this is going to do just fine. I'm so excited. Are those 40s or 42s? 40s. They're 40s. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Custom. You should go see yeah. the other side. We, we needed some off road I'm sparkles. <laughs> some of your, your stickers, right? Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should have got some. Oh, How's this going? Good. Good, good. good see you. I heard, you know, like in NASCAR, they put the potential winners in the very back. So I understand that you're doing the same thing. We here. did the exact same thing. We put the strong drivers <laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest, heaviest vehicle. Yeah. This is going to be... This, there's a couple spots. This is going to be a handful. <laughs> right. But you're in capable hands. So. <laughs> we were going for no. crowd pleasing. Yeah. This... I'm hoping that a completely stock Ford F-350 will be a crowd pleasing obstacle. Yeah. The part I'm worried about is shaky legs. The mirrors might end up in the bed by the yeah, time we're yeah. through, but that's it okay. It might straighten out some of your dents. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how are you feeling? Great, I'm ready. Well, I know we're like a minute from starting. Yeah. Let's, let's get up there. there. Good right. luck. Thank you. We're here at the beginning of triple sevens. We're gonna drive up this. We're gonna switch over to uh, double Sammy when we get about three quarters of the way through. And we're gonna finish strong at the shoot. Right. Just trying to keep her upright, make Matt proud. Win this one for the state of Kentucky, state of California, and Matt's off-road recovery.
this. This is the stuff that kills people. This separates the Leave. boys from the men. I hit the do. This is Rob's competition, and he's making the rules. Uh, this is like hand grenades. We are close enough for a do. Maybe the old boundary break in the middle of the trail, huh? Woo! This man is next. Let's the snacks are in hand. Let's do the death. This is where death stares you in the eyes. It's a little pun I made. Turn the other way and back up all the way. Actually, just pull forward right there. It's like a, it's like a really bumpy and just not very enjoyable. Now it's just like I get to literally jump off cliffs in a jeep, and that's kind of fun. And I have a roll bar to protect me, and I feel confident in this weld. I don't know who welded it, but I feel confident in it. This is the the chasm of death. <laughs> Everything is of death. Yes. So <laughs> I, I get you at the source. <laughs> so this is the bridge. Is there of another death. word for death? The gateway of death. This, this is the chasm of death. This is catab uh, chasm of um, Morticia. Okay, got it. Mortis. Mortis. Chasm, the chasm of Mortis. So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna control your descent at a, a bad angle, and you're not gonna roll. I have recovered a jeep here that rolled. Okay. And you'll know when we get there. You'll know where the spot is. I don't have a doggy treat. I can tell you we're looking for that. <laughs> Work. Light work. 
You got a good spotter, James. Yeah. <laughs> <Is that Jamie? laughs> You're talking about Jamie, right? Yeah. She's in there. Ever since Jamie took the front seat, I've just kind of checked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. We've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just teach him a front dig? He's gonna. I'm forcing him into one. <laughs> Get him through here without any rocker damage. Hey, you want to offer Weston? <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Send it. Nice. That was super clean. I like that. Did you see that perfect move by James? Yes. We did not even scream going up the V-Nuts. You kissed it like a chef's kiss. No scrapes. I'm wiping the tears from a child's cheek. <laughs> You guys remember Danny Ogden? He's the one that that loaned me his derby engine so that we could smash some cars. We're gonna do a tug of war, guys. Are you trying to pit me against my own? Yes, you here go against James. Opposite James. 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 Right. Tr true and we still tomorrow. <laughs> my adrenaline flowing like I'm I'm in the frame of mind to make mistakes now <laughs> this is where triple sevens crosses double Sammy so we're leaving triple sevens and entering the double Sammy so the next obstacle is Jimmy legs named after Estelle Costanza she's got the Jimmy legs hey, the driver as you're coming up more driver more lots more driver way more driver on the driver I just tried to find the most comfortable place yeah. to have you park. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the winch challenge. We're gonna have them drive up right here, then they have to get out and they have to hook up to the wrecker. They have to pull up to this next line using the winch and then we'll stop the time. We're gonna be going for skill, speed, and do they know what they're doing? Style. Style, style is important. Spill, good looks. Yes, skill good looks. and speed. Who needs the winch? You should neutral right now. I mean, that was by far the easiest challenge so far. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. I'd love to do more of those. Turn this way to come up. Okay, stop. Let's look at this for a second. That's going to be terrifying. I need you to go really, really, really slow. Great truck, great rig! <laughs> That's the buff 
horses? Um, I don't know what this one is. What did we call this one? I don't remember either. We just made them up, so it's kind of hard to remember. Alan's Awakening. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> Alan's, Alan's, Alan's Regret. obstacles so far. This whole place looks so different than last year when we were here because it's covered in people. It gives it such like a new perspective. You can tell like how big everything is because there's like a person next to everything for scale. I'm six feet tall. That's a ledge. Got a little bit turtled, but just powered through it. That was awesome. <laughs> Who built that Jeep? <laughs> I got all kinds of dogs on my hand there. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. is this is a workout it's an, like there's a lot of emotional things going on when this is your first time wheeling and putting them through such a such a rigorous course Trusting their spotters here. This is gonna be, imagine what that feels like driving it with no vision. That's gotta be just crazy. I can't even imagine. I tried driving it with both eyes and uh, it was pretty tough. So I can't imagine blindfolding. Right there. I didn't have time to do hydraulic steering. <laughs> That's been the hardest part. Man. How's it going? Awesome. All right. This been working good for you? This thing is amazing. It kind of goes where you point it. It just goes. You can do a front dig now. So just just turn it and power brake a little bit, and then we're gonna drag the front end around. Let off the brake a little. I'm off the pedal now. Beautiful. There, you did a front dig. 
unnecessary, but <laughs> but done. Okay, this is the hard line. She's taking you up there. James, if he had enough, he says he hasn't had enough. He wants to do the shoot. So we're just doing the shoot. I think it would be perfect if I just flopped it over right now. <laughs> but yeah, man, what a way to end this awesome, awesome trail. Love so it. cool, dude. seem possible but it's <laughs> but it just does it I it's awesome it. good job Awesome job talking to me. You did. That's People crazy. don't realize when you're blindfolded, you have no sense of depth, of speed, of elevation, of braking, like nothing. You're steering how you're steering. You, you're just in a void, and it, it takes away all of your senses, and it is really difficult, especially when you have no idea who the person giving you no. directions no. is.
down here at the record pools right now and these are awesome these guys are just dragging that suburban and this little mazda back and forth so many cool records here that thing's pretty massive uh, i'm really interested to see how that and our record compare huge tires the huge mickey thompson's on both of them that's going to be an awesome competition i don't even know what's going on because i just got here is that thing purging nitrous So this thing's rolling a little bit too easy. So we're gonna change that. Yeah, we're good. You just went through the windshield. Yeah, I know. Um, I was I, forgot, I was gonna tell you, like, put your hand on the dash. My feet were like this, but that wasn't good enough. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> this is a good one. Yes, sir. I think Rory's up next. I'm really excited about this pull. He's uh, he's got some surprises up his sleeve. I'm gonna see if I've got some too. Okay, can I help you, sir? I'm gonna try and make you look good. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It won't be too hard. <laughs> We were early on the break a little bit. He was moving a significant amount of sand. Yeah, lots. And that's the that's the problem. That's where all his horsepower is going. I touched the brakes for about 15 feet, <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> I hit that car. event and the record polls are a wrap we will be back here tomorrow same place same time it's gonna be awesome hey check this out this is day two of the off-road game leading out right here is matt with leaping jeep we got ed with finn wiki in here these guys are darting the trail off my understanding is you're gonna go halfway through and then switch drivers to Chris, who's also from Vinwicky, following the Bleep and Green Jeep crew is the Rudy's Adventure crew with Seth from Burn Peak, mountain bike stuff, Jeep stuff. I'm gonna be mountain bike riding with Seth Monday. You guys are gonna see that stuff. We've got yes. the yes. Mischief Maker yeah. crew, Holly. Hey, my lovelies. Hey, my love. <laughs> and then we've got Dan from What's Inside. This is gonna be impressive. Like, this machine, if you just took the machine, you'd be like, this is gonna win. But then you factor in the driver and you're like, this is probably not gonna win. So I'll do my best. Here's my bad dad joke. 
I hope we don't find out what's inside this Jeep today. You got some sort of a barnacle <laughs> stuck on the back of your Jeep here. I'm over here wearing a bike helmet to keep me safe, and these guys are like, I'm just gonna sit on the roll bar. In the ever popular Tangerine, this was a really nice Jeep a couple months ago. But we have got Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers. I loaned him this Jeep so he could take Devin from Legal Legal and uh, just put him through his paces. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I was looking for a Starbucks and I took a wrong turn off the highway. We've got the Rory, Rory with the Trail Mater crew, and he has Laura Farm, Laura from Laura Farms. That's two Laura's. What, is, what does Laura do? Laura Farms. Laura Farms. This is going to be one to watch. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this buggy. It's really sad. It's a sad story. Um, this buggy will never work because it wasn't built in conventional ways, and he only spent $12 on it until he painted it. Now it's a $15 buggy. Good luck, guys. Good luck. We're going to need it. We've got our very own Caitlin with more, and she has Kindle from Kindle Gray YouTube. Yep. Does Kindle Gray things all over the place. Real popular channel, too. We'll try not to wreck it. But if we do, last but not least, Nate from Dirt Lifestyle YouTube channel. And he has been paired up with Scott from Driver 61 from across the pond. This is a brand new build. This is Shakedown Run number, really number one, because they've done a lot of work on it since the last Shakedown Run. We got a Lizzie in the back seat. Yeah, just hanging out with Kendall for the day. Awesome. You ready to do this? Yeah. That's the line we That's the line you took. This is crazy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse than this. I'm having such a good time with him. It's like taking someone wheel for the first time. That is exactly what you're doing. We had a comment on our live stream. Somebody's like, these guys look like a bunch of amateurs out here driving. And I'm like, that's exactly what's going on. Accurate, but mean. <laughs> Jamie, you took the hard line. Why'd you do that? Um, I had no spotter. Did I really take the hard line? Yeah, you, you took the same line they did. I couldn't see. I just asked if there was anyone in front of me and which. And they're like, no, nobody could be because yeah. it's vertical. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Neither of those two are afraid to be upside so down. That was pretty impressive for a buggy that won't work. Look at this guy. He just does it. Oh my goodness! This has got to be the most capable samurai on the planet. Yeah. This wheel was like way off the ground, but it was still planted. Super stable. Yeah. The brakes like this. This one has a really neat history, and then it got in the right hands to just be finished like it should be. Holy smokes. That was impressive. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's how flying up. But he made that look easy. I say, how's that working? But it's working good. That's awesome. Holy cow, man. Even I have my doubts about that one. So that was the gatekeeper that we just watched the tangerine climb. We jump off from one fin here to another fin. And we're going to be heading up here to the steps. Look at all these people out here. Look at that. How's this going? I've been at the wrong end of the line here. Yeah, you need to come talk to us for a little while. We've been crabbing. Oh, oh, oh. what? Ah. Little 23 flavors. I've only got three left. So stolen Mountain Dew is delicious, but so is stolen, stolen Dr. Pepper. And this one was taken hostily. This wasn't even <laughs> sneaky. And watch the remorse on my face when I open this. Here, we'll do it together. Cheers. Gotta get the sand out of there. Dr. Pepper flavored sand. Cheers. Cheers to stolen Dr. Pepper. Now let's just hope we don't have to use the restroom because there's no place to go. All right. Let's go up and talk to some people. Got that it? Yep. Come here. Oh, I can tell. Oh. Like always. Her name's Rosie. Rosie? Yep. Hi, Rosie. Hey, I remember you guys from yesterday. And, yeah. How's it going? Good.
Rudicon. Are we in a bad Take spot? a little bit different line here. Kendall Gray driving the banana right now. Caitlin's doing Come the spot. Come on, Kendall. You got this. Looks, looks like they're making it up without too much trouble. Gray without driving. any trouble, actually. He looks like he's done this before. Kendall's pretty good. Nice. Look at that driving. You might need to make an offer to Matt to buy the banana. <laughs> what do you think? Priceless. Straight. Dang straight. <laughs> We're making it. We're making it. <laughs> Slow and steady. Lizzie, how's the ride? It's a great ride. Are you a good driver? Yeah. Yeah, you feel good. That thing just curl up now like it's not even not even a problem. <laughs> I guess if you're in an F1 car at that angle, you're in big <laughs> trouble. <laughs> you usually just carry on going, yeah. I don't know how they're doing this difference. I think they're doing team against team, team now. Yeah. That's good. Four big guys. Right, here we go. Four big guys. Three. One, two, three. Ah! This day they're all competing against me. I was yesterday. I hope they both lose. I'm thinking like 150 kids versus Rory here. It looks like we'll have a tug of war between Rory and Laura Farms and Kendall Gray and Caitlin. And then we got nobody to go up against Nate from Dirt Lifestyle and uh, Driver 61. So we're gonna have to we'll find somebody. Who do you think is gonna win? Rory and Laura. Yeah. Oh, those guys are okay, strong. Past them. How am I supposed to keep right that? And they have the look of the Irish? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> they don't want to help you. You know who that guy is right there? He's very strong, but I might need a little bit more help over here. <laughs> we got the unicorn on our team. Now you hold right up here. Okay, okay. okay. they got a couple of good. They got some. You guys are ready? Oh, that was good. Go! I didn't know kids were so strong! Everybody's done the tug of war now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got Scott here, driver 61. How's it going today? What are you thinking? Well, compared to what I normally drive, this is the most terrifying thing that I've ever driven. <laughs> <laughs> He's shouting at me, saying words that I don't understand, but it's a lot of fun, so. 
All right, Nate, your rig. I know you showed building it on your channel. You showed a little bit of testing it at Johnson Valley, but really, it's still in shakedown mode. Oh, it's definitely in shakedown mode. There's yeah. a lot of work to be done. Uh, I'm glad we've made it this far without anything like exploding or imploding. So <laughs> I consider that a win. Okay, Caitlin, we got Caitlin and uh, Kendall Gray here. RJ is going awesome. I mean, the banana speaks for itself. It just goes. So I heard awesome. you were nervous yesterday, but. Today it doesn't seem like you're nervous. The scariest part is just driving, but like not knowing what you're driving over, whether yeah. it's a rock or a person. Or when it starts going down, you don't know how far it's gonna yeah, go before it stops. And I got it, I got yeah. it. Rory and Laura, how, how's your day going? Well, uh, we just finished the tug of war. Uh, I don't know if it's like the altitude or something, but I am unreasonably out of breath from that tug of war competition. But so far, I think the day's going pretty well. We're how's having a lot of fun How's the buggy doing? Oh, oh, okay, you're up now. Doing great. She's doing awesome, like you said. She was a little worried, but she's crushing it. All right, well, the worst is yet okay. to come. Get in your Jeep, let's go. We're going to the next thing. Norway? Yeah. Yep. Thanks for coming, man. That is so huge. Nice to meet you, man. Huge, nice huge. And you got the rare Lizzie hat there? Yeah. Um, how's this been going? This is fantastic. We set a new record over here today, 42 seconds, with the first vehicle through. So everybody else has got a high time to beat. We're having a good time. Awesome. To rolling. <laughs> we tried to show them what a flop felt like, but it's too planted. So the tangerine does not have a winch. So we're going to be using the wrecker. Since it's my wrecker, I'm going to be helping. next to this win because it was a little bit sketchy there for a minute. But 37 seconds is the time. And that is official. line <laughs> in this thing yeah man that was perfect man. wow marvin's like what he does is like really extreme builds and really extreme this is a this is a non-build <laughs> and kind of extreme taking him up extreme lights and he's doing killer he's doing so good it's, it's gonna be a little bit fun to spot it's something so much not super capable. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> thanks man
going to go check on Bleeping Deep again. It's been a while since we've been to the front of the line. I haven't seen you for a while. We're going to check on you. We're worried about you. Well, you tried to leave me because I was passing out stickers. You were just so excited. I was so excited. You I, had to I file a, a like stolen vehicle report and everything. It's just been a really crazy morning. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, you know, I've done this six minutes now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it on my own now. I'm good. I, I'm just going to run with it. I'll see you at the top. This is my good friend Mark Hicken. Without him, none of this would be happening. He's like the AV wizard. He's running this. He's keeping these guys in line. And this is the second day you've ran this trail. And yeah. he's not a runner. He is a dirt bike rider. True. If they were quiet, you would be on one. That's right. That's right. We should ride this trail sometime. I think so. I forgot to ask Matt what the symbolism of was of the inflatable army tank. Did he tell you? We're going to blow away the competition. Oh, okay. It's a move of aggression. Absolutely. Yeah. Shot across the bow, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. We were just doing it verbally yesterday. Right. Yeah, they've upped their game. That's it. So I was just told the symbolism of the tank that you're going to blow the competition yes, away. Yes, we are. They're already blown. They don't know it yet. They're they have no blown idea what no hit them. Idea. They already know what happened. It's already over. That's awesome. We're going to take you over to Alan's Regret, and we're going to watch them all go up Alan's Regret. So Matt says that he's going to have Chris warm up the tires, and then he's going to send it straight up this vertical wall. coming up here. Oh, uh, maybe we already passed it. Never mind. I'm not paying attention. Right up there, that that's the top level right there. That's where we finish. This just snakes around and then goes up. I just heard I have body damage. Caitlin, where's it at? Where? Oh, that's not too bad. We'll bend that back out. That's a mud fly. Oh, you went to the V-Knot. Oh, yeah. That's the can opener. That, the that, can opener. That's from this piece. Really? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Looking good. Where is it coming from? That low, that, I think the my pressure right hose. The whole yep. Yep. Yeah, e easy fix. Oh yeah. It's just lo losing a little fluid out of the high pressure line. We can handle that. Alright, now it's going to get interesting. Hey kids! Hey, the guy again! Hard to beat. He put on 
quite a show right there. That was a good run. They said they're going to take the party line. They flip over upside down and slide down. They don't flip uphill. of the record polls. So this is the record games at the off-road games. We've got the world's largest off-road record over there parked to one slightly bigger than it. We've just got some good trucks here. There's gonna be some good polls. I don't know when I'm going or who I'm going after or who's even going, but I know that I'm gonna watch some trucks do some fun things. And look, there's Lizzie. I'm just here to watch and enjoy the fun. I've never really seen this type of towing technique. These guys know something I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Like I said, I've never seen it before. I'm gonna hold my judgment till the end. Come on, Chad, you can do it. Okay, so that technique does not work. <laughs> Yeah, we got Heavy D rolling up. Is that him? With his crew, yeah. He flew over with the helicopter earlier. Really? What up? What's up? How are you, buddy? Good, good. Good to see you. Good, good, good to, to see you. Good to see room for you. Brooklyn, where are you? Good to see you, man. Come on, man. Thanks for having us. Sorry we couldn't make it yesterday. They're having a little 
little trouble with this sand. One thing for sure, I've said it a million times, I'll say it again, we have a very special kind of sand. And if you think you can beat it, you can't. It's unbeatable. Unless you have the banana or the Morver, Milestar tires, and that's probably it. That's all you need. Go get them. See what I can do. Yep. What do you think of Chad's new record? I think going to be off. Brett, where have you been? Running around camera stuff. That thing sounds good. Perfect. It's gonna pull this right around. Who's your driver? I'll get it. In this one. Oh, I'll just do Ben. Unless right. you want to do it. No, not me. <laughs> Matt's like, will you drive it? I'm not gonna okay. do that. Let's go get it. All right, just pull up there past the mess. Driver. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's all right. Yeah. He goes. You're gonna be Matt's driver. I said no. I already wrecked his truck once. <laughs> That's super important. When you're getting towed, you've got to keep your wheels oriented right. This isn't looking too good for me. Those are 58s. These yeah. are only 54s. Same tire. What pressure is he running? Do you know? I have no idea. What pressure are you running? I got 12. That's probably too high. I need like five. I'm thinking I should let some out, but it's too late now. Oh man, we are in so much Here's trouble. Look at that torque. Look at that smoke. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what are we gonna do? Come on, team on! See what you can do about keeping them wheels straight. Yeah, I was gonna say, you want resistance or not? We'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous now. I'm gonna let you get it before I push the brake. <laughs> push the brake on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we ready? Yes.
Oh, good job. That was, that was way off. Awesome. We're just having some fun here. That's awesome. I should have aired down. <laughs> the bro dozer's got the right amount of air. None, the backs are None. virtually flat. That was a fun game of chess right there. I had it. I had it. I had it. Oh, you had it. My hand up. Congratulations. My hand up. Right here. Come on, man. That was awesome. We about went through the windshield. Oh, it's the other way, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I went through the roof. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw Clash of the Titans, and I'm sure it's coming down to brand loyalty now. You got brand guys. You got four guys. Let me hear it for the Ram guys. Yeah! Still coming, they're gonna be here in a minute. Now let's hear from the bro and the board boys. Alright, we're gonna take a couple hot laps in the bombie just because. Concludes the sandbox portion of today's events. We're gonna head over to the vendor show now, where we're gonna just meet some people and hang out. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, you guys ready? Good morning. It is day three, and this is the grand finale. So all of the YouTubers performed really, really well. We're gonna let them all compete in the final, which is a sand pole. It rained last night, which is gonna make it easy on everybody, especially the first guys. So if the track gets too bad, we're gonna have to drag it again. We got there here early and got it all smoothed out. We've got the Bombi versus a Cybertruck tug of war coming up. We've got Trailmater versus the Morver tug of war coming up. There's just gonna be some good stuff today. We're doing a demonstration on how this is gonna work everybody's smiling faces and it's not raining. All right, let's
this is so awesome. Bent off world asked me to drive for them, so this is going to be fun. Someone defected from their team. Someone kicked me out of their team. Isn't that so and now I'm looking for revenge. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Whatever it's takes your revenge off of me, the, the whole kidnapping your family thing, like. Hey. <laughs> It's safe it's to, to say, say this is the first, the first time this has ever happened, happened in the history of the world. You know what? You're right. This is 1,000% the first time a Cybertruck has ever done a tug of war with a miniature snowcat. And this might be the last. Boy, I hope I don't get thrown out. Get ready! Pretty 
crazy. I wish I could have watched it. Would you call that a tie? It was pretty close to a tie. What happened is we both bellied out. I just had a lot more surface area to unbelly. Um, yeah, he stopped me. If, if, if he wasn't in reverse, I wasn't moving. So Weston is about to take Deja Blue. He's gonna pull the tangerine. XJ on XJ. Okay, go. I think that's still got like 15 pounds in the tires. Tom, are you proud of it? Oh yeah, it's holding up. It's been doing great. I'm really curious to see, are we gonna name it Deja Blue or Dory the Explorer? Dory the Explorer. Whatever. It's gonna be Deja Blue. It's the tangerine, it's got it. Yeah. She can do it. If anything can do it, the tangerine can do it. shotgun this time Matt saw how well I did the other day and was like I gotta he's gotta establish himself as the off-road king because uh, I did really well and he's like well I just gotta remind everyone else that I know how to drive too not just James but if uh, going forward wasn't enough uh, so now we have to go backwards it's a big rig
SmackDown, brother! Bring it on! violent than I thought it would be. I tried to let you get out of there so I could yank it and it didn't work. So I played my cards and I lost. It was a bold strategy. What was that like? Uh, it was like getting in a car, it was like getting rear ended like five times in a row. people to meet I got hands to shake that was awesome we're gonna be announcing the winners later today thank you guys so much for tuning in we uh, we really appreciate the support hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did my cheeks are hurting I just been smiling all day for, for, for three days thank you you know what they say a stolen one is always the best there you go. So we're out here just at the vendor show, just hanging out, taking a little break. We're here at Robbie's booth, talking to the Peck brothers. We've just been hanging out, checking yeah, stuff sure out. It's, it's been a, it's just a beautiful day. It's awesome. The wind Beat died fans. down finally. Yeah. No wind, no rain. It's overcast. Just got the jacket off because it warmed up and just meeting people. It's awesome. Great day. Heavy D was flying his chopper over. It's pretty awesome. Sounds cool. Looks cool. It was a blast. I'm gonna see how many YouTubers I could get to sign my visor. Bro, I saw. In San Mark. It's what? That's how many of them I got to sign it. This year's games have been amazing. Everyone we had come out to support us has been awesome, and I got a cool visor out of it. here at the closing ceremonies raffle ticket and we're giving away prizes left and right. Also one of our big sponsors has been Orlando. I'm looking for kids. How are you guys doing? What did you guys think of that record, Paul? Wow, this has been awesome. So we have some prizes to announce for the records. Do we have the records on stage? Okay, if they're not here, we'll make sure to get it to them. So we're going to start off with the first 
loser. And I am very excited to give this to him. First loser is Steve Maxfield for Best Dress Record Team. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Right here, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, we're proud. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. All right. Next loser, Clancy Johnson for Master of Mayhem. Are you up here? Yeah. All right. Okay, the next one. Oh, then we got the best off-road. Um, hey, we've got Kayla Brenderman for Vent Off-Road. We get the rubber chicken. All right, let these guys through. <laughs> All right. Now for the next loser, which is goes to Chad's Fab for the Sand Slinger. Chad, you heard? everybody. All right. Now we have People's Choice. So, for People's Choice, let's hear it for Chad's Fab. All right. That's not it. We're trying to find out who it is. Okay, the next is Matt with Matt's Off-Road. Yeah! We got two more to pick from. The next one is Rory Irish. People's choice. People's choice. And then we got one more. The vote came in for Rick Murphy. Yeah! Hey, I think we got a winner. This one's tough. For Rory, let's hear it. <laughs> Rory, congratulations. <laughs> Seriously, I, I I cannot thank you guys enough for this. I I uh, I don't even know what to say. This is amazing. <laughs> That you guys come out to this and support us. I absolutely love this. Thank you guys so much. Just... For anybody that watches my channel, there's a little beef going on between these two automotive body guys that I know. So I have a Howlin' Wolf shirt signed by Robbie Layton. One of one. This one's got Robbie on it, and I X'd it out. I got my name on it. Who wants this one right here? I love you guys. Thank you very much. I just, I just want to point something out that I think is amazing. This is the largest off-road related event at San Hollow State Park, followed second by the one last year. is a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. All right, we just, we're dumping in all of the tickets that have already won, and we're gonna
gonna mix them up real good. And that way. Jamie, I feel like you should go. Okay, while he's mixing those, you have to mix them the entire time. I'm gonna be reading the sponsors of this gladiator. So, what are the, this is the, okay, we'll just go to the sponsors. I am terrible at this. Raceline wheels. Okay. It, it has 37 inch Milestar MTO2, so Milestar. Flowmaster exhaust, it's got a Flow FX exhaust system on it. It's got a, a Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. Rock slide, engineering rock sliders. Full throttle battery. American Adventure Lab supplied the lights. It's got a Milwaukee M18 tire inflator. It comes with an Onyx membership. Is that a year membership? A year membership from Onyx. What? Ten of them. It comes for ten years. For you and your buddy. For you and your buddies. Ten Onyx. It has a rugged radio set mounted in it. Awesome, rugged radios. Uh, Dynatrack lift. Two-inch lift for your safety, and it's got a mats off-road recovery rope, and it's got a tool kit, burrito, and a strap kit. Mats off-road. Okay. So the reason for this giveaway is we it was donated to us by a very generous friend of the channel and the reason for it was to raise money for a couple of charities so if you see george shake his hand and say thank you oh george So this raised seventy thousand dollars for the Hurricane City Veterans Memorial Park. This event also raised a substantial amount of money for UPLA, also for the Washington County Search and Rescue, San Hollow State Park. So after this raffle right here, after we find the winner, and I need a, I need a volunteer. I need a child volunteer. Who looks? I'm just looking for the most honest face. Rory, will you pick that out? Oh, don't make me do it. All right, come get him up here on the stage. Come here. All right. You're going to pick so, it so nobody can get mad at us. Okay, you've got to be 18 to win. If you are not 18, we can't let you have it. It's actually not us. It's the law. 2827135. Yeah? Serious? Is your name Devin Ray? Right, you're just gonna have to wait patiently till after this, after we give away these trophies. Congratulations, man. Thank you. This is awesome. I've never won anything in my life. Such an awesome life. Well, now you got a gladiator to drive her around and go on dates and all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. I'm Okay, we still have the last, we've got to find out who won this event. Okay, there is somebody that has poured their heart and soul into this, went above and beyond. Everybody's been doing great to make this event happen. But Greg, I need you up here. Yeah! Let's go Greg. All right, Greg is one of those guys that you don't ever see, and he is doing most of the heavy lifting for this event. We have lots of heavy lifters, but this one is the one. We got a trophy for you, and we are sending you on an all-expense one-month vacation. We seriously are. 
Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Give it up for Greg. You guys don't know, Greg was the guy who reached out to every one of us for all these emails that got all of us together here for this event. Have you ever, have you ever tried to get YouTubers on the same page in the same place? It's like herding cats, and this is a cat herder right here, cat wrangler. All right, I need to hand this over because I don't want to look like anything's I'm coloring any of this. All right, so right now we are getting ready to announce the winners, but you know, well, we know how this goes, right? We're gonna announce the losers. So, so if you guys are ready to see who's the loser, the fourth place loser for the off-road games, fourth loser is Weston Champlin and Robbie Layton. Will you guys get up here? Fourth place losers! Give it up for Redneck Science. All the people on the live, they didn't get to see how the back of Robbie's Jeep got smashed. And I told him, I said, Weston Champlin happened. Great burnouts? Yeah, we got first place. Did we, did we did burnout competition and everything. So, so Weston here had a burnout competition with himself, and he claims that he won first. Here's the thing, right? No one else is competing. That's their fault. Yeah. First of all, we told them about it. We told them about it. They seen us doing burnouts, and we just did a better job. So it's fine. It's a win-win for all of us. So I'm, now I gotta go home and make myself a trophy because I feel so good about winning. <laughs> Let's give it up for Robbie Layton and Weston Champlin, everybody. Third place loser. Third place loser is Todd from Project Farm and Air to BSF. Let's give it up for these guys. What do you got to say, Eric? You know, we came with an untested Jeep, and we ran it on the mountain. It did flawlessly. Uh, I guess we just weren't that exciting. But Todd did a wonderful job driving it, and Gabe did a wonderful job building it for me. I couldn't ask for better teammates, so it, I win. <laughs> Now, I'm going to have to say that he's probably going to need three or four more Jeeps so that he can compare them, correct? I would love to do that. Let's do it. <laughs> a big thank you to everyone that wanted me to come out. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the votes because I'm an off-roader. I'm not an off-roader, and teaming up with Eric was a lot of fun, and the entire team that built that Jeep did an amazing job. So thank you for coming out, and thank you for supporting us. Good job. Let's give it up for Project Farm and DSF Recovery. Second place loser. Who could it be? Who could it be? Second place loser is Lara Farms and Rory Irish with Trailmater. recognize them they were the ones that were making themselves cups of tea while they were driving up the trail not even paying attention what do you got to say about it you know i would cheer louder but i do not have a voice left after this after the past couple days all i can say is i am uh, pretty sure i'm the luckiest gal on uh, on the face of the earth right now this is insane thank you roy for everything this is so fun <laughs> This was a blast. She did a great job driving, and it was so much fun. And like you said, driving for you guys watching and cheering us on. This is so amazing. This is so cool. Thank you, guys. Let's give it up for Laura Farms and Trailmater. First place loser. That's almost like second, but you're the first loser. First place loser is Ed and Christopher with Vinwicky and Matt with Bleep and Jeep. I mean, we know they can drive fast. We also know they can drive over and drive back over. <laughs> And also do burnouts. What do you got to say about it, Matt? I'm just so glad to be here at all. Thank you guys for coming out. 
Ed and Christopher, thank you for being my partners. Christopher is so much better with words. Say something. Uh, we're just so happy to be here. It's been an incredible experience. We're driving off road out here with all these great people, making new friends. It's been amazing. So we were winners, whether we were first loser or last loser. But just so happy to be here. And appreciate my partner Ed here. Just let us all come out. Fantastic job that Matt did teaching us and uh, showing us how to drive that amazing Jeep. That's right. Thank you all. Let's give it up for Ben Wicky and Bleep and Jeep. Again, everybody, big shout out to everyone that made this happen from production to camera to the drones to Matt's off road recovery to the people streaming right now. But most importantly, everyone out here that has been supporting this channel, been supporting the off road games, this wouldn't have happened without everybody. Yeah, so huge shout out to all of you. Huge shout out to the people that were in here. If you guys witnessed the live at all, that's a huge undertaking behind the scenes. It's a lot, a lot of camera work, a lot of electronics, way above my pay grade. I, I felt like John Madden in there in that room. I don't know, what do you think about it? No, it was a lot of fun being on that stream. YouTube comments were eating us alive. Uh, YouTube is not a very nice place for a lot of people, but they love all of these YouTubers. So who does everyone think is going to be the winner out here today? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear who you think is going to win. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, jumpsuit. Orange jumpsuit. I don't know. He just escaped from the prison. <laughs> Who wants, who wants to hear wh who the winner was for the Off-Road Games 2024 biggest event in Utah Sand Hollow history? Now be careful with any negative comments here because it could be considered defamation. Because it's Devin with Legal Eagle and Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers in the Tangerine. Like Devin grew a red beard. Devin couldn't be here. He got a call from the judge. He had some legal issues. So I am just standing in proxy. I'm going to try to say what he would say. Um, what would he say? I, I honestly, I have no words. I did not expect this at all. I have no idea what Devin would do at this moment. We were not planning to even like, to even be competitive in this. You know, in the, ten, the tangerine was the most uncapable vehicle out of all of them. I think that's why it worked. You guys struggled over a lot of things, and it was pure entertainment. There was a lot of cheering for that as it was going up. You guys did awesome. You put on a good show. So uh, I'm going to take this trophy for Devin. Where is it? Where's my trophy? Right there. We're going to make sure that he gets it. But got, you guys, think, thanks so much for this award. Thanks so much for Marvin for giving me this opportunity. Thanks to Matt for loaning me the tangerine and, uh, and all those other things I would say. Boy, completely crazy. Let's give it up for Legal Evil and Flex Rock and Roll. And for, for them treating it like a rental because it was. Let's have you stand together and get a photo. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. People's Choice. Up next, we are going to do the People's Choice. Now, if you guys got the app and you downloaded the free app, then you got a chance to get on there and vote. And what actually happened is we had a tie with the votes. The first team on the People's Choice vote was... Well, she's been on farm equipment her entire life. It's Laura Farms and Rory. Rory Iris, the trailmaker. They are the first. They are the first in the tie. Yeah! Now, the interesting tiebreaker was actually... Seth Burnpeak and Rudy. Rudy with Rudy's adventure in the drive. And it might have been because he decided to ride his bike down the chute. I don't think that's ever happened ever yeah. that I know of. Of course, Rudy was trying to trick us, making me think that he was going to ride down no. in his orange jumpsuit. So what we have to do now is we have to break that tiebreaker here in front of all of you. You guys got to vote. Oh. 
<laughs> Trail leader in Law of Arms, let's hear it. How about Seth Burnpeak and Rudy? Oh man, that's that's close. That's that's really good. Like we gotta do that one more time, I think. Hold on. But I was watching and some of y'all voted twice. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I was here last year and people were paying me to vote for whoever I wanted. So, good job on whoever voted twice. Good job for all of you. All right, let's go again. Trail Manor and Laura Farms, what do we got? Or, Seth Burnpeak and Rudy! guys are the winners. Like, you guys are awesome, and we could not be happier to come out here and entertain you guys. This is so much fun. Thank you. Seriously. Absolutely ditto. You couldn't have said it better myself. You guys are amazing. Uh, this has been incredible. Thank you, guys. We're out here for you guys, and uh, honestly, so. that's huge. What? No, I'm not here for myself. I got out of prison, okay, <laughs> to be here. I, I'd rather be here than there. Right. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got out of prison to come to spend time with you guys. And thank you. You guys are great. <laughs> this, this is my first experience with the off-road community, and I rode a bicycle down that thing as you guys all cheered, and that's a warm welcome. Yeah. This was for you guys, and it was amazing. Thank you. Let's get a hear. Let's get a cheer for him. Thank you all so much for coming out and making this the best off-road games ever. It was definitely, it was significantly bigger than last year. Eleven percent. Eleven percent bigger. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for coming out and showing your support, making this whole thing happen. Please be respectful on your way out. Um, enjoy the area. Check out some of the sponsors. Check out all of the sponsors. And we will be back here next year with something oh. fun. And that is a wrap. We just got done with the award ceremony. The Gladiator's been given away. We have just, we're going to have to say goodbye to all these awesome people. We have made, you, sir. We have made some new friends here. I'm thinking about going on and telling them some of my car stories. If you haven't checked out VinWiki, it's just car stories. It's awesome. So these guys have been great. You guys know who these guys are. The bleeping Jeep guys. This is just awesome. More than well. We got the crowd out here starting away. Luna from off Luna and Marlon from off road and chill. Thanks for coming guys. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having us. I hope you had a blast. Thanks for the invite Matt. It was awesome. Thank, Thank you for everything. Yeah. Do this as always. <laughs> Thank you man. Thanks so much. I'm gonna go home and sleep for about 16 hours then I'm gonna get on a mountain bike the, for the first time in two decades and try to keep up with Seth from Burn Peak. That video is coming up. Thanks for